Hey everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Welcome to another Lich King boss fight. This is with Paladin. My hammer burns with holy fire. Your anguished cries will be a testament to my legend level play. So very similar to the uh, shaman one that we just did. This is another Murloc deck. Murlocs actually work very well. Um, I'm very happy with this one actually because I beat him with this deck on the very first time I tried playing it. It's not a very high skill deck. The light will not protect you here, Paladin. Nothing will protect you. I think the deck list I looked at. All right, we'll, we'll just go over his power. Whenever any of my minions die, they get rezzed on his side of the board. So basically, once again, the idea is just to push as much damage to his face as possible, preferably before turn 7 when he goes immune. So you want to try and do 60 damage before turn 7. Um, the deck list I looked at had two Hungry Crabs. I actually only have one, so I traded it out for a second Grimscale Chum, which actually works quite well, I think. Here I've got to decide whether to trade. Trading is just really not advised in this because you do end up just giving him minions. And like we're already pushing huge damage, actually. Seeing it 13 damage on our board right now. We can kill that Shadow Guard, no problem. And like he's already got one of our Murlocs. It's very annoying. But that's a good turn four. Double Murloc action. We can kill off his Valkyr Shadow Guard. And no trading, everything to face. I think if you don't get Murloc War Leader very early, you'll probably lose. He really helps with games. Um, the, the, the answer to his 2 6, his immune 2 6s or whatever, is to play quality and consecration. Uh, I guess maybe if you wanted, you could add in um, Wild Pyromancer, and you could do that combo with a quality. That does wipe your board as well, and you want to keep your board. So Quality Consecration works very well. I think at this point I was flipping over a record. I think I was playing a record on my like my record player behind me. <laughs> I'm back. Murloc War Leader. We're, we're serious now. I think Getaway Code is still really good here, but Competitive Spirit, that's a lot of extra damage if you can pull it off. As long as he doesn't, like, Blizzard. He can't Blizzard next turn. I can't play Competitive Spirit next turn. Yeah, you, you just try and trade as efficiently as possible without giving him too many Murlocs. He's starting to get a lot of them. Luckily we got another Murloc War Leader, who's very strong here. We can do like War Leader and Competitive Spirit, probably. And now we just gotta trade carefully here. While hopefully pushing as much damage as possible. See, so yeah, actually, with this deck, you don't necessarily have to do all the damage before he goes immune on turn 7. If you've got a quality and consecration in hand. So that really just wastes his turn. Well, suppose my war leader's there, we're just back to 7 damage. And that really sucks. I think we've, we must get a really lucky pull here. Compared to Spirit helps. Primal Fin Lookout definitely helps. We can get two Murlocs here. Hydrologist is great. Hope for another competitive spirit. Boom. Another competitive spirit. Get that out there. And we know next turn he won't attack with any of these. It is nice of him to play Frostmore before he attacks. Which means he actually pretty much wastes this whole turn, because we will just equality Consecration it. And have lethal. So he loses. Pretty sure we'll have 13 damage on board. Competitive Spirit kicks in, he loses. We did it. Quality, Consecration, clears board, make him not immune. No one orders me around. Then we just kill him. Still pretty close. Only darkness before me. But that was a very, very fast deck for this. Worked really well. Great deck. There must always be a Lich King. 
It's like somewhat cheap. It's a little bit more expensive than the Shaman one. You don't really need Murkai. The once noble paladin embraces new destiny. Those who lived a worthy life would have nothing to fear, but in death the wicked would face his judgment. Gold Uther. Hey, there we go, that was class five. Still got four left to do. They're gonna be the tough ones as well. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!